Now, number, Numbers chapter 5. When you eat something, blessings and curses are often transmitted through what you eat or drink. Did you know that? In Numbers chapter 5, verse 11, the Lord spoke to Moses saying, If a man's wife go aside and commit a trespass, and a man lie with her carnally, and it be hid from the eyes of the husband, and she is taken, and the spirit of jealousy comes over him. Verse 15, then you shall bring the man, his wife, the man shall bring his wife to the priest. Amen? And bring the offering for her. Alright? And uncover, and set the woman, and uncover her head, and put the offering, which is the jealousy offering. And the priest shall have in his hand the bitter water that causeth the curse. And the priest shall charge her by an oath and say to the woman, if no man have lain with thee. Are you there? And if thou hast not gone aside, be thou free from this bitter water that causeth the curse. Are you understanding? But if thou hast gone aside to another instead of thy husband, and if thou be defiled, and some man hath lain with thee beside thine husband, then the priest shall charge the woman with an oath of cursing. And the Lord make thee a curse and an oath among thy people. When the Lord doth make thy thigh to rot and thy belly to swell. Verse 22. And this water that causeth the curse shall go into thy bowels to make thy belly to swell and to thy thigh to rot. And the woman shall say, Amen, Amen. Verse 24. And he shall cause the woman to drink the bitter water that causes the curse. And the water that causes the curse shall enter into her and become bitter. And he shall take the offering and wave. And verse 27. And when he hath made her to drink the water, it shall come to pass that if she be defiled and have done that treasure, the water that causes the curse shall enter into her and become bitter. And her belly shall swell, and her thigh shall rot, and the woman shall be a curse. So, curses are transmitted by drinking things. That's what the Bible says the cup of blessing, the cup of blessing which we bless. Amen. The cup of blessing which we bless. Is it not the communion? of the blood. So, in this case, the cup, what we are going to drink is a blessing. But a way, that is why you know, my father-in-law when he was alive, he, 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 he never ate or drank anything in his hometown. If he goes, he will never eat. He will never drink. He said, and he take your water, take your food, take your everything. Never drink there. And there are places you shouldn't eat and drink because a way things are transmitted is through what you drink. So when the priest wanted to transmit a curse to the woman who had gone aside from her husband, he give her a certain water to drink. If she drinks it, the curse will enter into her. So the communion is, is like a transmission of blessings. I'll give you something to eat. And I'll give you something to drink. And that's what the Bible calls the cup of blessing, which we bless. Is it not the communion of the blood of Christ and the bread which we break? Is it not the communion? So today, as we take this bread and we drink, we are going to drink in a blessing. Ish. Every case you have drank this week is neutralized by this blessing. Stand to your feet. Father, we lift up the blessing of this meal 
Let it turn into a blessing for everybody that eats it. A mighty blessing. Any poison in our bodies, any death in our lives is neutralized by this meal that we receive today in the name of Jesus. The communion and the body of Jesus Christ. The body of Jesus. And now the drink. I'm giving you a blessing to drink. May this turn into the blood of Jesus. And may this drink supernaturally enter you and cause blessings to dissipate and to spread throughout your being. Whatever represents a curse in your life is neutralized by this powerful blessing which you are about to drink. The blood of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. May you be fully joined to the body of Christ. Anything that separates you from the body of Christ, let it be accursed. May you be fully fused into the body of Jesus Christ. May you receive of his life. May your life be extended. May mercy be granted you in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you have done wrong, whatever represents a sin, whatever you have failed to do, may you receive forgiveness now. May you receive mercy now. May it be wiped away now. In the name of Jesus. Whatever shortens lives, whatever shortens lives, I rebuke it in your life in Jesus' name. Whatever cuts short days, whatever cuts short weeks, whatever cuts short years, in the name of Jesus, it is cancelled from your life. In the name of Jesus, let me hear your loudest amen. I see your head being lifted up above the clouds above the sorrow above the disappointments you will never be disappointed in this life every storm will make you better every shower every river every wind that blows in your life is turning out for your good from today in the name of Jesus let me hear the loudest amen Amen. The grace of God. The grace of God. The help of God is over your life. I speak life into your life. I speak victory into your life. I command a series of victories in your life. Rise up in faith and walk on in faith in the name of Jesus. Now, every step you have taken, that is a bad step. I reverse it now in Jesus' name. Every decision you have taken, that is a bad decision. By the power of God, I overturn that decision. Your decisions are purified. I say your decisions are purified by the blood of Jesus. Now lift your hand. I plead the blood, 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 
the blood of Jesus over the children, over the family, over the house, over the church, the blood of Jesus, over the cars, over the houses, over the planes, over every journey, over every situation. I command and declare and plead the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ. Just everybody speak the blood of Jesus over your life. Speak the blood of Jesus. Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lift your hands. Jesus, thank you for good news awaits us. A week of good news. A year of good news. Good tidings. Our phones will ring with good news. Our phones will receive good messages. Our heart will not be frightened when our phones ring. In the name of Jesus, receive a series of victories. Receive a series of victories. Let me hear your loudest, amen. Let me hear your loudest, I receive it. Let me hear your loudest, I receive it. Give the Lord a shout of praise.